all right everyone welcome to a new day and welcome back to the channel my name is karina today is monday and it is about four o'clock in the afternoon and it's time for me to make a new dessert i'm going to be making some peanut butter bars and i got this recipe from six sisters stuff i don't know if you've ever watched that youtube channel but it's uh, six sisters and they do a bunch of like baking cooking instapot meals all those kind of good things so i'll leave the this uh recipe in the description below uh, they do use their mom's chocolate frosting recipe to coat these peanut butter bars so we'll do that also but i just want to make sure i give credit to six sister stuff for this recipe all right so the first thing we're gonna do is go over the ingredients and I'm going to start off by mixing one cup of butter, softened, two sticks, one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, two eggs, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to mix that together first. Then I'm going to add in a cup of peanut butter, uh, one cup of oats, two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm going to mix all that together. And then... We'll go from there so let us get started that's the ingredients we're using and then we'll make the chocolate frosting with that ingredients later so let's get started all right so we are going to get started and the first thing i did was i put my two sticks of butter in the microwave to soften it up uh, you can just leave them out to get at room temperature softened but you can it's not a problem if you just throw them in the microwave to get them softened so that's what I did. I did take them out, but they're not soft, softened enough. All right, so the next step, you just want to put a cup of sugar. And I didn't pre-measure anything and put them in separate little bowls and little cups and stuff. Um, I'll be honest, I just didn't want to dirty a bunch of dishes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you want one cup of brown sugar. So there's one cup of brown sugar. Then we're going to put in our two eggs. All right, and now we want to put a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're just going to mix this together before we add in the peanut butter. But like I said, I'll put this recipe in the description below. Yeah, I've been just searching for new recipes, new desserts, and everything to go to make. So I found a couple of peanut butter recipes, um, but I'm making this one first. Right, I'm going to go ahead and mix the rest, uh, the rest of this, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of peanut butter, and I'm going to just eyeball it. Because I know how much usually one cup is in here. All right, I'm going to go with that. And if it's too much, well, I guess I'll have a good peanut butter taste. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw in one cup of oats. Now, the original recipe calls for two cups of oats, but I'm only going to put one in because uh, Glenn's not crazy about oats, but he'll, he'll, he'll take some. Now, go figure. I eyeball the peanut butter and I measure the oats. All right, now we're going to throw in two cups of flour. All right. So I'm just going to use a half cup measuring cup here. So I'm going to put in four of those. All right. 
That was just to finish off that last one. All right, now I'm gonna put a teaspoon of salt. All right. And a teaspoon of baking soda. And now we're just going to mix this together. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix this in, and I will be back when I'm done. All right, so we got this all mixed in, and we're ready to put it on the cookie sheet. All right, everyone, so here's my cookie sheet. I'm going to go ahead and spray it, because we're going to put this uh, peanut butter dough on the cookie sheet. Now we're going to pour this on. That all out. That's the great thing about these spatulas. It'll get everything out of there. Oh, my stomach is growling. Well, tonight's uh, supper, I'll be making uh, a dish that Glenn eats more so than I do. It's uh, sauerkraut with sliced potatoes, onions, and I got some better cheddar Johnsonville sausages. And he'll be having that. I'll just have a better cheddar sausage, on a probably on a tortilla or something. There's only... So much sausage I can eat after I start gagging. Just the taste, the smell. All right, so you want to spread this out, but not to the edges, because when it bakes, it's going to expand, and it should give you an edge. So I'm just going to leave it short of the edges. And you can do it with your hands too, but I don't want to get them all sticky. Now I probably could have cut this recipe in half and done it on a small like eight by eight. Um, because I don't know how much we'll eat of this. So I think I might end up freezing some of it for another day. Like when they're all cooked and everything all right so you can see i left the edges empty oops sorry so now i preheated my oven to 350 and i'm gonna bake this for like 15 minutes and then we'll go from there okay so while we're waiting for that to bake um we're actually going to use the peanut butter again and this is a uh, peanut butter that we received from the pantry uh, we still have quite a bit of the peanut butter and some of the foods that we did receive from the pantry. Um, so we're going to use this, and that's what I'm using to make our dessert. So when it comes out, while it's still hot, I'm going to be taking some scoops of peanut butter and then just laying them all over the, the sheet of peanut butter. And I'm going to leave them like that so they melt, and then we're going to spread that peanut butter over, and then we're going to make a chocolate frosting. All right, everyone, so it is done. It's baked for 15 minutes, and you can see that it did uh, expand along the edges. So you can see right there. So while it's hot, we're going to go ahead and take the rest of that peanut butter from the jar and put little, like, spoonfuls kind of all over and let it melt. And it is a little squishy. So I don't want to press too hard. And then while it, when it melts, we're just going to kind of spread it all over. All right, so you can see that I've got uh, peanut butter all over the sheet. And I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes. 
and then we're going to go ahead and take the spatula and just spread it out all right everyone so it's been a few minutes so let's see if this uh yep it's going to spread just like that So after doing this part of it, uh, what I would recommend is not putting big clumps on there. Just put real small ones. The bigger ones will take longer to melt. So I got one big one right here. I mean, it's spreading. But, and what I ended up doing is just using what I had left in that uh, peanut butter jar. So it's all gone. I don't have to put it back in the cabinet. Oh, this is spreading pretty nice. Smells really good, too. Oops, <laughs> I keep hitting that camera. All right, I think we're going to go with that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put this to the side, and we're going to make the chocolate frosting, so stay tuned. All right, so we are ready to make this chocolate frosting. And again, uh, the YouTube channel I got all of this from is Six Sister Stuff. And this chocolate frosting was their mother's recipe. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to use a half a cup of butter, which is one stick softened. All right, and then a quarter cup of milk. Okay, there's a quarter cup of milk and we're going to be using three cups of powdered sugar uh, so you probably want to put them in a little bit at a time so we'll go with one cup first and then we'll mix that up Probably should have just got the mixer out. All right, so that was one cup. We'll get another cup out. get the third cup in there all right and I still may get the mixer out because the butter's a little lumpy oh, throwing powdered sugar everywhere It's not coming out too bad. So to this, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to add four tablespoons of cocoa. And then we're just going to mix this together. Oop. <laughs> uh, if I'm not throwing one thing out, I'm throwing another. All right, everyone. So it is all mixed together. I did not use my mixer. I just did it by hand with this little... Uh, a spoon. 
So yeah, it actually tastes pretty good. It's not really, uh, it's not bitter. It's got a sweetness to it. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I'm glad I came across this recipe. All right, so now we are actually going to um, spread it all over the peanut butter bar sheet. All right, everyone, so we are going to go ahead and frost this. And... Yeah, this uh, chocolate frosting tastes really good. So after I'm done here, um, I'm probably not going to taste it till later. I got to get supper going. And then I'll also uh, be unboxing. Well, I already unboxed, but I'll show you guys the knife set I bought. And got some friend mail today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish frosting this and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So here it is. It's all frosted up. So and it looks really good. It smells good. It looks good. That frosting is delicious. So we'll be tasting it later after supper. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for what's next. All right, everyone, so I just wanted to go over the chocolate-covered peanut butter bars. Uh, you can see there's a, a good chunk missing. Uh, we cheated. Uh, we tried it before we even ate supper. So I just wanted to tell you how it is. Uh, we didn't need it. We didn't eat any more of it. Uh, Glenn was not feeling well after supper, so his stomach wasn't going to tolerate this for sure. So... It's good. It has a really good flavor. Uh, that chocolate frosting is really good. Um, in general, the whole thing is very sweet. And we threw out a couple options it, when we would make this again. Now, the original recipe called for two cups of oats, and we only put one. I don't know if maybe putting two cups would have set off some of that sweetness. Or cut down some of the sugar because it calls for a cup of sugar, a cup of brown sugar. So the peanut butter is going to carry enough uh, sweetness in it, but I don't know, maybe cut down the sugar a little bit to set off some of the sweetness. The frosting itself also is sweet with that three cups of powdered sugar, but it's good. The whole thing in general has a really good flavor. Um, we would just want to figure out how to cut down some of the sweetness. So, as you can see, it's the size of the whole cookie sheet, and we are not going to eat this whole thing. We're lucky. We'll be lucky to eat uh, the little row of it that's missing right there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually freeze most of this for a couple other times that we might want it. So, so just keep that in mind, how big it is. It's the size of a cookie sheet. So, if you're uh, just one or two people, um, you might want to cut cut down the recipe or freeze what you don't eat um so yeah this is perfect if you're taking it to uh um like a potluck or a holiday party or something like that so i will leave the recipe and the six sister stuff in the description below the link to their channel i'll leave the recipe in there I'll leave all that in the description, okay? So that is the chocolate covered. I believe they call this Lunch Lady Peanut Butter Bars. All right, everyone. So here is the knife set I ordered. And I got this off of Amazon. It's by Eat Neat. Chop Neat. <laughs> I guess that's the company. Uh, keep in mind, this was like a $23 set. So uh, don't. I don't have the high expectations that it's they're going to be like super sharp or anything like that. So also I already did unbox this. I already opened it. I actually opened it when it got here. Uh, we were in the garage when it got here. So I did open it up and I did use a couple of the knives already. So let me 
open it up for you guys. So it comes with five knives. And they have sheaths with them. All the blades are colored. Um, so I'll just take all these out. And then it also comes with a cutting board. So this is more like a traditional cutting board, uh, very hard plastic. You can see how thick it is. It's got like this little um, liner, like when you cut tomatoes or something juicy and the juice rolls in there. And these side handles are rubbery. So yeah, they're not gonna, I mean, obviously nothing's foolproof. But they're not going to slide as easy as the last ones I got. So I'm very happy with this. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I, I like the feel of this one much better. And let me get the sharpener. It came with a sharpener as well. Okay, so this is the sharpener. So, and I'll show you the knives. Whoops, making all kinds of racket here. So here are all the knives. So this is supposed to be a paring knife. And I've already used the orange and the blue one. I did pair some uh, uh, potatoes earlier today. And, and I mean, they work. They're, they're not like cutting like butter. But they work. They do what they're supposed to do. So, I mean, they're very pretty. Now the handle itself. This orange part of the handle is more like a slippery plastic, but underneath where you would grip your hand is like a rubber. So your hand's not going to slide as much. So I did peel potatoes with that already. And then this blue one, I did cut onion with that one already. So they work as they're supposed to. And also keep in mind, um, I have about uh, 30 days to decide whether I'm going to keep them or not, whether they work good or if they're not going to break. Um, so whether I send them back or not. But I'm going to use them so I know how I'm going to get good use out of them. So uh, there's the red one. And the sheets are more like a hard, slippery plastic. So I would still be careful taking them in and out. And there's the purple one. I mean, they're very pretty. I like the color of the blades. Uh, here's the bread knife, more like a bread knife, serrated. So yeah. All right, so there it is. The knives, the cutting board sharpener uh, i believe it was like 23 dollars next thing i have is some friend mail so i want to bring that up and show you what i received all right everyone so i wanted to show you a uh, friend mail that i received today and i was aware i was receiving um the package but so the first thing is um uh, homemade strawberry jam and I already have it open so you can see what it looks like inside. Um, but it did obviously come with the cover. And we did taste it. It's a really good jam. It's uh, really sweet and it's really good. All, all she does is put the strawberries and the sugar in there. She uses nothing else. So she did a really good job. Now this comes from uh, Vanessa, who, who's also a subscriber. So, yeah, Vanessa basically lives off her land. She lives on the mountains. She lives off grid. She's very, very knowledgeable about everything natural. I, oh, that's all I can say is everything natural. She, I don't know, she just has so much knowledge about plants and growing stuff, about what you can use what for. Uh, healing stuff 
everything. She has all that knowledge. Yep, she lives totally off-grid, and she's very knowledgeable in what she does to live off-grid. So, again, Vanessa, thank you so much for sending this. Now, this wasn't very cheap for Vanessa to send. Um, she, did, she did not want any payment for it. Um, but living on the mountain, Vanessa drove 45 minutes to get to the post office to ship this. And then the shipping wasn't cheap. And then the gas. So, Vanessa, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's all I can say is I really appreciate that you did that for us. So, strawberry jam. Homemade strawberry jam. And then she also sent... Let me put the cover on that. So that's going to be good on some toast. But because it's uh, really sweet, um, don't want to put a whole ton of it on at one time. All right. So she also sent these moisture salve and healing salve. Now she made this. Like I said, she's she makes everything herself. Uh, she made this out of, correct me if I'm wrong, Vanessa, and anything I'm saying here. Uh, bees wax so yep she basically made this from the bees wax okay so this is the moisture moisture self and I message well Vanessa and I message back and forth um, she gives me a lot of good information but I told her I I'm gonna save this for winter the moisture self because in winter Every single winter, it gets so dry. It gets so hot. It gets so dry in winter that my hands get really dry and the skin cracks open on my hands. All through my knuckles, the skin will crack open. Just all through my hands, they'll just crack open. And it could be the dryness of the winter here. Um, or... A combination of that and because my hands are underwater a lot throughout the day with cooking and washing dishes and you know just doing different things so and I don't like to wear gloves when I'm doing that but I can't wait to try this um, I'm hoping that works for uh, keeping my hands from cracking open in the winter time and the healing uh, she said if like for aches or pains or anything like that, um, that should work. So I can't wait to try these. So Vanessa, I appreciate it very much. Uh, Glenn, Glenn appreciates it also. So thank you so much, Vanessa. So yeah, I just wanted to show everybody that. And tell Vanessa how thankful we are that she went through what she did to get this to us. So... Much appreciated, Vanessa. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, new dessert, peanut butter dessert recipe, some friend mail, um, new knife set with a cutting board. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch it. And I appreciate all your support. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. So remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.